Hello everyone at uh, gymnasticsbodies.com or anyone who's watching this really. Uh, I just thought it might be helpful to do a really quick video about front lever because there's a lot of discussion at the moment about the correct scapula position or shoulder position. So just a really quick video to clear up any confusion. So the main question is if you're doing a front lever how should your scapula be? And uh, the real confusion is whether they should be prona pronated like this or contracted. And uh, the answer is they should be contracted. And um, I'm just going to show you how it should look. I'm wearing a rather fetching vest so that you can see my back a little bit clearer. Um, so I'll show you how you should be. So if you're coming up to the rings um, and you're hanging, dead hang. It's a good idea to contract your scapulas first before you go into the front lever. Now I'll be doing everything flat tuck because uh, I don't want to tire myself out showing you. First of all, I'll show you the incorrect shoulder position. So, like this, where your shoulders are very arched and your upper back is arched, is incorrect. Okay? What you want to do is at this point contract your scapula and have them contracted the whole time you're up. Now what you want to be able to do, or what you're aiming for, is to be able to uh, contract when you're hanging and go into front lever as you do. If you can't do that, if you don't have the strength in your back, you can uh, tuck up to invert it. When you're inverted, then contract the scaps, go into your position, whether it's tuck, advanced tuck, uh, straddle, halfway, whatever. Keep the shoulders contracted. Keep that tension in the arms, tension across the upper back, but with the shoulders contracted, not arched. Now, this is a position for planche, but not for front lever. Front lever, it's always shoulders together as much as possible. Um, don't know if that's been helpful. I hope that it has. And uh, see you soon.